Hello, 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 and welcome to The Cup TV, part of The Cup Network, where we put the real and the tea in reality, and we can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I am your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spit the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea, and it is so hot here in Fiji, and I'm not just talking about the weather. I am talking about how hot it is on Love Island, and these mm, 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 these contestants are these Islanders are hot, hot, hot. So we're gonna get into talking about that. I am just currently drinking on some water because it's hot. Like I said, hydration is important. But if I was drinking anything else, I would be drinking it out of my. Uh, Cut mug, uh huh, uh huh. And you, well, I guess since it's just me, it can be considered a panel for the cup mugs, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. But you can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch at lonagiescreations.etsy.com. That link will be in the description below. And if you haven't checked out our Etsy shop lately, you should go do that because we had some new merch drop just this week. So go check out our Etsy shop and get to some new merch. Not just the cup mug, but other, our other cup merch. <sighs> check it out. Um, all of those links will be in the description below. And we do ship domestically here in the U.S. and Canada and Mexico. And we do ship internationally. So there are no excuses. Get your cup merch, period. But we are here talking about Love Island because, y'all, it's going down. <laughs> it's going down. Talking about episode five, the, um, the um, fallout after the cha- uh, the challenge or the, the competition yesterday that they had. So it's the fallout from that still happening and people are unsure of where they stand in their relationships. And, uh, but before we get too deep into that, because I'm really ready to talk about it. I'm really ready to get into that. But before we get into all of that, let's get the business part out of the way. Hit the subscribe button here. If you want to get your Love Island fix every time an episode drops, if you want to get your Love Island fix here, this is the place to do it. So hit the subscribe button here and, um, Hit the subscribe button and uh, the uh, notification bell. Uh, words are hard for me, apparently. The notification bell to so you will know anytime, every time we drop a video. Um, I would love to say, oh, it's going to be this time every day. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm not operating on that time right now. So, but it's definitely going to be every day. When every time Love Island does an episode, we will drop another episode the day after about what we just watched. So, but time wise, I, I wish I could tell you what time, but it's coming every single day. Um, we also have three other channels that you could join and subscribe to, and we would appreciate that because we are a fairly new channel. We're still trying to get all of our, you know, get ourselves in the algorithms, get our um content out to you. So share. Sh- Share, 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 share. Um, subscribe, subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. We will really, really appreciate that. I am not too proud to beg. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to grow it and continue to give you amazing content. And the more we grow, the better we get. So, <laughs> and then I won't do that. So do what you got to do. Hit the subscribe button. We really, really appreciate that. Um, I'll go to our link tree in the description below. All of the links to all of our YouTube channels are down there, as well as our audio listening platforms as well. And you can join our membership where we have exclusive content and early access content across all four channels. So be here to check all of that out. And also just 
if either here or on Patreon, because we really appreciate that. And then, like I said, I got merch, you know, all of that stuff. So do all the things so that you support us. We appreciate you very, very much. All right. Now, let's talk Love Island, because that's what you're here for. And that's what I'm here for. Um, Y'all. Um, Aaron and let, let, let me... I'm going to bring up the the, the slideshow because um, I want to have some um, visuals to go along with with uh, what I'm talking about here. But um, yeah, I, I want to bring up the visuals and I like what I like to do is go through the couples and talk about what happened to them on this particular episode and what was going on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start with our first couple. Oh, I forgot they were first in my slideshow. And this breaks my heart. But um, Serena and Cordell, they had, this was an episode that was a little sad. If you were a fan of Serena and Cordell together, which I was, I really liked them. But I knew from um, the last episode and really the second, the second episode, really, or third episode, that she really wasn't, she wasn't feeling him romantically. He was trying. He really did like her. He really wants wanted to try, but he was willing to go at her pace. So I feel like him not pushing, I guess, more or showing that he wanted more made her feel like didn't and she wasn't feeling him she wasn't she she felt like he was more of a you know somebody who's a friend and not somebody who was romantically somebody he would go she would go for and so she had a conversation with um with um Janae and Leah and they were talking and she was like I just don't feel it I don't want to push it because he tried to make her breakfast and and it was nice. And he was like, you know, I made her made he made her a nice breakfast that morning. He complimented her hair and he was trying to do all the things he told um Kendall, who he established was his best friend in the house now, you know, there. And he was like, I just really think we're in a good space. Um, and the edit, oh, y'all editors, y'all editors are wrong. <laughs> y'all are so wrong for this. His conversation with Kendall, he's like, yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Um, we're great. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I think we're good. Paying up to the conversation she's having with uh, Janae and Leah, she's like, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna make it. I don't, she said, I'm not feeling him. I don't have any sparks. And she said, I want him to, you know, be able to be open to talking to more people. I don't want to lead him on. I don't want to, you know, I don't think I want him to feel like he has to stick with me and it's not working. And I just said, that would be a disservice to him and to me. And I don't want to do that. And she was like, I'm just glad to let him go and just let him know that it's not happening. And they were like, when are you going to do that? And she was like, right now. Like She literally got up and went to get him right then and there. And he was just like, oh, we're good. We're in a good spot. <laughs> and she went to go get him. And he was just like, oh, where's my girl? And then she goes, Serena. Him and Kendall, like, hyping her up as she come in. And um, she's like, oh, my gosh. And so she pulls him for the chat. Now, Janae knows what's happening, so she's sitting there with Connor, and they're sitting on the this little beanbag chair, and um, they're sitting there, and she's like, oh, this is so bad. And he's like, what? What's happening? He was like, she's about to break up with him. And he was like, oh, oh, no. Oh, we should I feel bad watching this. She was like, yeah, but it's kind of like, Oh, popcorn, popcorn. But she was like, it, it, it does feel bad. It feels bad to watch. Um, and uh, so Kendall comes over and he's like, what's happening? And he was like, she was like, oh, this is the end of an era. And he's like, what you mean? Because he just heard from Cordell that everything is good. And he was going to try to just, 
keep moving at their own pace. And she's like, yeah, he's going to break up with her. And he was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to be there for my boy. Is he about to get dumped? <laughs> but Serena did tell Cordell that she was like, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling any sparks. I'm just not feeling any sparks. And he was like, is this something I could have done? Or and he was, so she was like, no, nah, honestly, she said, I just don't think she said, at first, I don't think you listen a lot when I'm talking to you, which he admitted he doesn't. Cause like he was the there be like, she said, uh, uh, what she said? I forgot. I forgot what she said. Like he doesn't listen. So it's the one, it's one of those things. It's like, ah, oh, I get it. He don't listen. Um, but, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just um, uh, sad. It's sad, it's sad because she could, she, I really liked them. I really liked him and her together. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And it just didn't work. It just didn't work for them. And, but they were both very good and cool about it. And he was like, yeah, it sucks. It hurts a little bit, but I understand. I'm not going to force anything on her. And she didn't want me to be, you know, running around here just thinking that I got a chance and I don't. And he said, I respect that. And his boys was there to hype him up and to keep him, you know, to give him, you know, some, some, some love after he got friend zoned. And uh, what I really liked, what I liked about all of this, Rob was like, Serena's one of the good ones. She's so good. And so you, if, even if it doesn't work out in a relationship, you got a good friend in her. And he was like, yeah, she's cool. She's cool people. Um, and everybody agreed that she was just really one of the nice ones. And um, I, I would hate to see her go over this, but it's, it is a risk. It is a risk that, if somebody comes in and pulls Cordell and she doesn't have anybody, it is what it is. But that was the Serena Cordell story in this episode. It was just kind of like, oh, oh, oh. But they they took it with so much class and grace and and I, I really like that. It was no, nobody was mad at each other. Neither one of them hated each other after it was just like, it, I get it. It is what it is. And so I like that about them. I really did. But up next, not so easy with uh, Taylor and Aaron. Um, hey, uh, Aaron is still a little upset. This is still a little um, over from the challenge. And he was still a little hurt and you know he like basically yesterday he told her on yesterday's episode told her that it was he was done he was like i just can't i don't think i don't know um they went to bed that night and he basically just rolled over and didn't touch her which was the first for them because he from night one he was always cuddling her and kissing on her shoulders and they were making out a little bit before they go to bed last night that that last night was nothing. He just rolled over. He didn't want to touch her. And she felt it. And she woke up and she was a little hurt by it. And she was like, he didn't even touch me. I was, oh, my gosh. I really think I hurt him. And because um, she had a conversation with Rob that night. And he was like, yeah, you effed up. She was like, I did. And I don't know. What I'm, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And he was like, you, you just have to make it right and just be there and show him that. You meant that what you said that you really wanted to be with him. You can't play games with him and da da da. And so she was like, "Yeah, you're right. You're right." Um, so the next day, she went to him to apologize, and um, again, Janae was like, "Uh oh, are they fighting again?" She was like, "What are they gonna fight about now?" Like Janae. <laughs> when I we'll talk more about Janae when I get to her and Connor, but. She, they were like, they talked and she was just like, I really messed up. I really messed up and I am so sorry. I, the last thing I want to do is hurt you because you're one of my best friends in this game, best friend in this villa, and I don't want to hurt you. I really like you. I'm here for you. I only have eyes for you. 
Um, I don't want to be with anyone else. That kiss didn't mean anything to me. And that was one of Aaron's um, issues. He was like, because she kissed Connor and like, oh, it didn't mean anything to me. She kissed Hakeem. Oh, it didn't mean anything to me. And he was like, and you always come back and I would always accept it and take you back. And you took, I do feel like that take, she took that for granted. Like how many other guys she's going to kiss and be like, oh, I kissed this guy. It didn't mean anything. Oh, I kissed this guy. It didn't mean anything to me because you are it. Like if I am it, then let me be it, which I understand, which I was like, that's valid feelings. And that's why I thought this whole situation with these girls at this game was very, very weird to me. It was so weird. I'm like, why are y'all doing that? Like y'all aren't, it just was weird. Even the guys were like, the only person who deserved breakfast this morning <laughs> from them was Serena and Janae because they both were like not trying to play games with the guys that they were with. And <laughs> these other girls were like, eh, I don't know. it was just, it was weirdo behavior. I said that yesterday. It was weirdo behavior from these girls. I don't understand why they were doing that. It didn't make any sense because even though this is Love Island and you want to explore, you still it's still a game aspect to it, and you still have to stay. <laughs> you still have to stay, and when it's not your choice to, you're not going to always have the decision on if you stay or go. So when it's the boys' decision, if you playing around with them, why would they choose you to stay? So it's 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 wild. It's wild. It's interesting. It's crazy. Um, but I I don't get it. I don't get what the, the games were, but Aaron was still hurt. He was still hurt. He was just like, I don't mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know, but he did come to a point where he was, he listened to her. He accepted her apology. They were going to get back to a good place, but he was still always a little guarded. He's still guarded with her. And um, yeah, it was that, that, that was one part. I'm, I'm going to come back to them later on and other couples later on, but um Yeah. That was the gist of the episode for them. They were in a really good place. And and it, they got to a point where he was, like I said, he was like, okay, I forgive. I, 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 I we were good. Just, he, but he honestly and straight up told her, he was like, I'm, um, I'm, am open to explore other people. If somebody else comes in, I am not going to put all of my eggs in your basket. And I could tell that hurt her because she was just like, oh, I feel like she thought that he would never do it, but she could do it. And I'm like, girl, I don't know what kind of world we living in in the players' world. Uh, players sometimes get played, and you were you were out there, and I felt. <laughs> This is what I said the first episode. I feel like she was somebody as pretty as she is and as gorgeous as she is. I feel like she grew up in a small town and not didn't have multiple guys coming to her at the same time. And so when that happened and she was like, oh, 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 this person really likes me. Oh, this person really likes me. Oh, this, she just got really overwhelmed and, and, and loving the attention that she just got caught up in the attention and forgot what she wanted like I don't think she knows what she wants and so she was like I don't know so I want to try and that's fine because this is what Love Island is you don't have to always know what you want and you can explore but you have to do it smart and you have to do it honestly for me I feel like you have to be honest about your intentions so the other person is not like blindsided at the fact that you are out talking to other people, you let that be known. Like I will talk to other people. I will explore with other people. And I do have some interest, but I'm my interest is with you as well. So we can all explore together <laughs> and figure this thing out. And I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. If I'm feeling somebody else, I'm going to tell you that but like, you know, I'm kind of feeling this person a little bit more, but that's what love Island is about. But it is what it is. But yeah, they they at this point they were at a place of okay, we're gonna try. But he was honest, like, but I will explore if someone comes in that catches my eye. And she was a little, 
oh, caught off guard by that, but it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna come back to them, like I said. Let's talk about <laughs> uh Hannah and Kendall. Um <laughs> this girl I think is so clueless. I <coughs> I think she's so clueless. <coughs> Excuse me. She is oh my god. She is beyond clueless when it comes to relationships. Like I think she's so beyond clueless when it becomes a re- when it comes to relationships because <clears throat> she was just like she kissed the hockey game with her and she continues to say, "I just thought it was fun. I just thought it was fun." And Kendall was like, "That was the fun. That wasn't fun. Fun. Like what?" What do you mean? That's not like that's not fun for another a dude to see his girl kissing another dude, or even in a game situation. That's not fun. And if the roles are reversed, you be pissed. So treat me like you want me to treat you. Like that is so basic <laughs> for a relationship. And even in this situation of Love Island, you still have to treat people like you want them to treat you. If you don't want the person you with to be kissing up on somebody else, then you don't do that or and voluntarily pick somebody else. Now, this is the thing. If the game says you can't pick your person but pick somebody else, fine. It's nothing you could do. That's the rules of the game. But this was you voluntarily chose somebody else. So she's like trying to get advice from everybody, all the girls. Like, I don't know what what to do? Do I give him space? He didn't touch me. He didn't want to cuddle me last night. Nothing. <clears throat> and um, I was just like, oh, girl. She's trying to give advice to Aaron. And I'm like, you, you are the last person I would take advice from because you have no idea what you're doing. And you're trying to give advice to somebody else about how to get their relationship in order. Girl, bye. No, absolutely not. She should not say nothing because you are in the hottest water right next to Kayla. So I don't understand how you think you can give anybody advice. No, 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 no. But she wants to. She's trying to give advice and still get advice at the same time. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, girl. Girl. I, you um, you and Kayla both just need to just say your piece. Hope for the best. Because really, honestly, that's all you got. That's all you got. (laughs) Because both of them have had their faith in you is is shaken. It's shaken. It's shook. Their faith in you, their trust in you has been broken. And you did it voluntarily over people, over someone you didn't even want to kiss. It's like you didn't even have interest in. Like, why? Why? Why, why, why do we even do that? It made no sense at the time and it makes no sense afterwards. So Kendall is kind of just like, mm, I don't know why I stand with her. I don't know why I feel how I feel about her. I feel like I still want to try maybe, but I don't know if I can trust that. So I don't know. And he's just, he just told her he needs some space. And she's like, do I give him space? They're like, yes, give him the space. Let him figure it out for himself. Let him come to you. And uh, she's like, I'm just like, I say hey to him. He's like, hey. It's like very short. Like, he doesn't want. I say, because he, you messed up. Just accept the fact that you messed up. And, uh, and I still hate her makeup. Why does she do this with the makeup and this job? I need some. Mm, I need somebody to help her. Help her get it together, honey. I don't. I, and and I'm the last person to ask to tell somebody how to do makeup because I don't do makeup, but I just don't do it. I don't know how to do it, and so I don't try to go on and be a full glam beat for myself. I put on the basics and call it a day. She's trying to do the full glam and the whole, and it looks so bad. 
she is gonna look back on this TV, look back a TV and see how her makeup looks and be like, oh my god, that is horrible. So hopefully she gets some help because that's bad. I'm sorry, sorry, girl. Makeup is bad. But yeah, she gotta hope and just wait. <laughs> she gotta give me space and just wait. And baby, we'll come back to her and him and later on because we have some um, extra stuff to talk about with them. Are they even a couple? Are, is, is this even really a couple? I don't even... Okay. <laughs> so, I don't think she wants to be with him. He was secondary prize because she couldn't get Rob and Rob didn't want her. And so, she... Hakeem was the secondary choice. Um, this is not even a couple to me. <laughs> this, this is not... Um, both great people, just not a couple. He's trying. She is not. Um, he, they have had this conversation the night before and they were talking about breakfast. They were talking about what they would do with each other. So he cooked her breakfast. She said she was going to cook him breakfast and all kind of stuff. They tried to make out a little bit. <clears throat> and obviously it wasn't to her liking because she went down to the girls and complained that she does not like how he kissed so she was like, it was more like, ah, 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 ah. like it was, it was so like, she didn't like it. So they're not going to last. They are not going to last. Um, I don't know. He was feeling like she's not putting in the effort to, um, she's not putting in the effort for, um, for the relationship or trying. She she didn't make him breakfast like she promised. He ended up making her breakfast that morning, the next day. And it's just, it was no effort. She didn't like how he made his avocado toast. So she, she said it was a three. I'm thinking she made three out of 10, but it, there's just no chemistry here. That This is not even a couple. I don't even know why they're, like I said, he was a secondary choice. He might be in trouble next round when the girls get to pick. If, so, if a, if a, a uh, bombshell comes in who tickles her fancy. He might be in trouble. Um, if one of a new bombshell of a girl comes in and tickles his fancy, she might be in trouble. But I don't know. I don't even think they're a couple. They're not. I talked about them the least yesterday. I'm gonna talk about them the least today because they're not even a couple. He's he's trying a little bit. She's not trying at all. She does not want to be with him. I don't think it's just. Mm. It's, it's quite sad. It's quite sad. Leah and Rob. They're in an interesting place. Um, they are happy to be together. They're happy to be together. I think um, <clears throat> it was a moment where they didn't think they were going to be together. And then they got separated back together. They're happy. I think they're in a good place, even though there are doubts in both of their minds because Rob does not like the fact that Leah called him two-faced in the game. Leah does not like the fact that she does not under know exactly what happened between the conversations between Rob and Liv. And she doesn't think he's being completely honest with her. So she thinks there's something else happening. So she doesn't fully trust what he's saying and he doesn't fully like what she did. So there are some... Some cracks, but they're still like, but we're good. We're good, but there's still some cracks. They really didn't have a whole lot because, look, honest to God, we had enough of Leah and Rob in the last two episodes. So we're good on Leah and the Rob, Leah and Rob, you know, drama. Let them figure out their self. <laughs> In this, in you know, in this moment, I think they're fine right now. Um, we'll be back to talk about them because we'll see how long they'll be fine. Uh, we we'll, don't know. I don't know. I, but yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll talk about. Them. <clears throat> now, Janae and Connor. I feel like Janae is the rock of the rocks. Like I feel like Janae. It doesn't matter who she's with. They're gonna always feel like. They're the power couple. Like, they're the strongest couple. This couple had no drama, no issues, and they seem very happy together. 
They seem very happy together. And I'm rooting for them. I'm like, okay. I kind of, I do. I do like them together. They both seem to be on that chill vibe playing field that they're on. Um, Connor is very like a laid back and, and like, I think he's so in awe of Janae and she wants somebody to be in awe of her. Like, I think they're compatible in that way. Like she had said before when she came in that she wanted somebody who was going to um, just do what she says and, 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 you know, be want her desire her. And I feel like Connor is that person. Like he's not somebody who's going to, put up a huge fight. He's not someone who's going to, you know, always feel like, you know, somebody, uh, he's not going to be threatened by anybody coming in because he's gorgeous and he knows it. And she's constantly telling him how gorgeous he, she thinks he is. So I don't think there's going to be, um, anybody who intimidates him. Um, but he right now is very much in like, just happy to be with her and she's very happy to be with him and I think they're just so sweet and like she was the one going helping every in everybody's conversation helping them out being there talking to Sabrina talking to uh Cordell talking to just talking to everybody and making sure they're okay talking to um uh Kayla making sure she was good and they were just like living life and loving life and enjoying each other's company and it was sweet. It was very sweet. It was very kind. Um, he wasn't overbearing. They had a moment in, in Soul Ties where they were able to talk. And, um, and they, they had a lingerie party. And he was able to see her in her little sexy lingerie. He was compliment, so complimentary of how she looked. And she was like, you like it? Oh, my gosh. Like, Janae is very, like... <laughs> I think she feeds off of compliments, which is fine because a lot of us do. If we, you know, feel nothing, you. Oh my gosh, you don't say no. You do. You like it? Yeah. Like I, it, that's her personality. It, I think she's one of those personalities. Either you go like her or you are not. Like it's no in between with her. And I don't know. She. I, um. He seems to like her, and that's cute, and it's good. I, I'm interested to see how the relationship goes, how, you know, how far it goes and what I'm interested. But, um, yeah, I think they were, they're very cute. They're very com comfortable. Um, we'll see how it continues to unfold as we go. I, I just think, like, I, I, me and Logan talked about it. We said Janae and Koi, but I think Janae is someone who is going to make it to the end Regardless, I think she's going to be one of the OGs that make it to the end, for sure, for sure. Um, now, who is it with? I don't know, but I know she's probably going to make it to the end. That's what I think, about personally. But we do have a lingerie party happening, and um, because Connor gets the text. And they're having a lingerie party, and Ariana shows up at the uh, lingerie party, and she's like, "I brought gifts." She's like, "I'm not sending anybody home, no dumping." And everyone's like, she said, "But I brought gifts," so they pass out the gifts, and um, inside the gifts are handcuffs and blindfolds. And so one person in each pair has to be handcuffed, and the other one has to be blindfolded. And so they all decide who's going to do what. And so once they're handcuffed and blindfolded, like you're handcuffed to the post behind you or blindfolded. Once you were in your position, Ariana uh, announces that she invited two women to join the party. The two new bombshells are here. And they have come in with people in mind who they want to get to know and um, they made it very clear <laughs> now we didn't talk about the uh, uh, after show because we only had time to do the after show but 
I'll do a quick mention of what they talked about and who they wanted to go for an after show. Um, uh, one of these girls, and I'll tell you who when I bring that picture up, but one of these girls made it very clear that they were here for Aaron. And they were like, Kayla may not know who she wants, but I do. And I want Aaron. And then the other one made it very clear that she was here for Kendall. And that is why I said, okay, they have to just sit back and hope that what they've started is enough to get them through this because they are two beautiful women who are coming in looking to take these men from them. And the first woman is Andrea. And she, uh, look at her, look at her. Look who she is. Look at her. Look how beautiful she is. Who would be the person to go for someone like who looks like Andrea? If you said Aaron, ding, 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 you are correct because that's who she wants. And <laughs> she comes in and uh, Ariana tells them that they get to, that tells them that they were watching and they know they have their eyes on some people. So they get to go and kiss the person they have their eye on. And so Andrea, she goes and the first person she kissed is Rob. Now Rob is blindfolded. I mean, it's handcuffed and Leah is blindfolded. So, or is it the other way? I can't remember. Oh, no, I think he was blindfolded. No, 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 he was handcuffed. He was handcuffed. He was handcuffed. So, <laughs> so Rob gets to see her, and she comes, and she gives him a kiss, kiss, and he, she goes in. She goes in for it, and he's just like, oh, oh, my. <laughs> but he's trying not to make too much noise so Leah wouldn't. Uh, it was, it was. It was, it was interesting. If I have it backwards, somebody let me know. I, yeah, I think he was blind. If he was handcuffed. I could be wrong. But he went and he 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 kissed her. She kissed him. Had his lipstick all on the side of his mouth. He was like, mm. <laughs> And then she went to go kiss Aaron. And Kayla was blindfolded, so she didn't get to see it, but everybody else saw it, and she was, Miss Andrea was not holding anything back on this kiss with, with Aaron, and I was like, well, Julie, <laughs> it is what it is, so she kissed Aaron and Rob, and so those are the people who she has said that she is interested in thus far. Then we have Miss Nicole, and she made her intentions clear for Kendall. And, um, but she first went and kissed Cordell. And I was like, oh! And Serena was like, I'm so happy for him, which I loved. I was like, yes, the maturity, the you know, it's not she don't she's not feeling no type of way because she knew that they weren't a match. And she wants him to have happiness in the villa, and she wanted him to find his match. So she's like, yes, I'm very happy for him. Do it, girl. Get him. Get your man. And so Cordell was like, oh wow, this is, <laughs> that was nice. And then she went and she kissed Kendall. And baby Hannah was fuming. You could tell she was mad, just like uh, Kayla was mad and Leah was mad. <laughs> the only person who wasn't mad was <laughs> Serena. <laughs> she wasn't mad. But Kendall um, took that. Oh my God, that kiss was something. That was a spicy, spicy kiss. Like it lasted. Man, and Kendall was blindfolded, so he couldn't see. And then this girl pulled up the blindfold and kiss, 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 kiss. And uh, uh, Hannah just had to sit there and watch it. And baby, I was like, ooh. And I, ooh. And baby, she wasn't happy. 
She was not happy at all. <laughs> I was like, well, well, Julie, I don't know what you expected. <laughs> but <clears throat> that ended it. That literally ended the episode. But we got the previews. And of course, Hannah is not happy. And um, Taylor is not that happy. But you know who are happy? Rob, Aaron, and Kendall, and <laughs> and we see Rob telling um, Andrea that he was like, you know, I'm open. I'm open. I'm not closed. Like this is. And this is the stuff he did with Liv. And this is the stuff why Liv don't trust him. And this is why Liv think he two-faced it. But he was he telling the girl he opened. And he was like, she is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I was like, oh. He's like, oh. And Aaron, of course, is very much open. He didn't already told. He was like, I am very open for this. And that, and I can do open. I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> can't wait for tomorrow. Or well, tonight, not tomorrow. Tonight to see what happened. <laughs> what happens? I need to see it tonight to see what happens. And I'm gonna be back to talk about it tomorrow. Or I might let Logan do it by himself. I don't know. Maybe I don't feel like talking about it tomorrow. It depends. It's probably so good, I'll probably talk about it. But I can't wait to talk about it tomorrow to see what happens with this. And I, I'm sure it's a recoupling coming very, very soon. So I can't wait to talk about it. I'm going to be right back here to talk about it with all of you. But if you are invested in Love Island US like I am, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know whenever we drop a video, um, videos will be coming out as the episodes drop the day after every episode. Um, and we have other stuff coming up here on the Cup TV as far as other, uh, we have the GOAT going on right now. Um, we will have a brother coming up soon. Uh, yeah, and then all, join our other channels. We have our ESC channel, our uh, Eurovision Song Contest, our Ringside, which is all WWE wrestling, and our our, our main channel, which is Drag and Drag Race. So check out all of those channels. Subscribe to all of those channels. The links will be in the link to the description below. Um, you can follow us on all of our audio platforms. You can join our membership to get exclusive content across all four channels um, and early access. You can also get... You can follow us on all of our socials at The Gut Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow me on Twitter. It's right there. Or on TikTok. That's right there. Oh, not TikTok. Instagram. Instagram. That's right there. Not TikTok. Instagram. I mean, I have a TikTok, but it, that's not it. Um, but, yeah, follow us if you want. I appreciate that. Get your cup merch. Get all, not limited to the cup mug, but any of our cup merch. Check out the Etsy shop. Got a lot of stuff going on, lanagiescreation.etsy.com. And um, I'm going to get out of here because I got to get ready to watch Love Island tonight. So, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Bye. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I'm going to say. So. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you tomorrow.